What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have another backstage WWE figure set up for you guys. And this time it is Raw Edition. I know last time we did SmackDown Live Edition. So now we are getting it over to the red brand and we are going to do them. So I have a setup here for you guys as you see all around. We even have some new uh, ad additions here. Um, I did move the GM's office but I still have a setup in there for you guys. So let's go ahead and get into this setup. Alright guys, so getting into it over here in the locker area, we have the newly crowned Intercontinental Champion Roman Reigns with his shield buddies Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins probably talking over strategy on how they can reclaim the Raw Tag Team Championships from the bar. Coming over to the middle right here, we have the newly returned Paige telling Bailey and Sasha that she is the reason that the woman's revolution happened in WWE and you can see the reaction on Bailey's face right there and how shocked he is she is to hear this in the middle of the locker room right here we have Enzo Amore looking at his cruiserweight championship probably wondering why the hell he's still champion probably clinging that thing you know just freaking holding on to it to it tight you know because in the background there you will see that we have Neville lurking in the background behind that monitor ready to strike Enzo at any point to get back his Cruiserweight Championship. You know he hasn't returned yet, but you know he's on his way. And then over here in the corner we do have the Bar, the Raw Tag Team Championships talking strategy on how they can keep the Shield away and still hang on to their tag titles. And then we have a setup coming through this locker room door right here. Alright guys, and if you come through the locker room door right here, you will see Samoa Joe right here making his way through the halls, going to the curtain so that he can get ready for his matchup. And you see we have some storage units right here on the right with some lights set up on it. Um, walking around here, if we zoom in, you will see Bray Wyatt coming through the curtain and it looks like he has a smile on his face because he actually just picked up a victory um, for the first time in a long time over Matt Hardy um, and over here in the corner you will see we have Asuka telling Alexa Bliss that she is coming for her Raw Women's Championship and Nia Jax getting in the mix to prevent uh, Alexa Bliss from getting her butt kicked right there um, and as I walk around we have this different angle right here with some different setups. Um, right here we have Big Show. And this is sort of his exit right here. This is what I'm symbolizing. This is the exit of WWE. And he's on his way out right there. Um, right here we have Jason Jordan talking it over with his father, Kurt Angle. Telling him to give him an opportunity on Raw. And Kurt Angle's just not having any of it. Just beyond that we have The Miz mentally breaking down after he lost his intercontinental championship to roman reigns so here's the miz and to the right there you will see the monster among men braun Strowman, walking his way around the halls and then right here we have jeff hardy after his torn rope tater cuff shoulder surgery he is chilling over there rehabbing ready to make his return and now we will go over to the gm's office where we have a few more setups and right here we have triple h and stephanie mcmahon talking outside the mdt general manager's office right there as you see and then through the general manager's door you will see that we have vince mcmahon talking it over with Finn Balor telling him that he does not think that he is over enough to fight Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship. So there is Finn Balor reacting to that. He does not look super happy. He is looking pretty pissed off. And here's Brock, you know, just grinning it up because he has a long while until he drops that Universal Championship to Roman Reigns. But yeah, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this setup. If you did, please leave some recommendations below on future action figure setups you would like to see. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.